Hare Krishna dear devotees, dear friends. In this video I will show you how to make a covering for the Murtanga. Today is when I'm recording this video, it's Balaram Jayanti and Murtanga is actually Balaram Balaram's expansion. So we need, as we give for Tulsi Maharani a skirt, we need to give nice covering for a cloth for Murtanga as well. So here I have this is cotton fabric. And this will I use I'll use for lining. It's better to use natural fabrics like cotton or silk or linen. But since today I don't have those, inside the lining I'll put cotton. And I have this kind of fabrics, different colors which I bought from India. So I'll be using this. And you need a measuring tape and nice scissor. So in order to get started, you need to know what types of measurements you, you, you are going to take. So here I'm painting the murdanga to show you and then I will show you in practice as well. Let's say this is murdanga. We won't make this, this side covering like this side because it's better if you make but for daily use it's better to keep it open. So we'll take the measurement of the length, length of Murdanga, like this, this side, hold this, and we'll make the measurement of this place, measurement of this place, and then, because Murdanga has a round shape, we cannot take a straight fabric and start stitching. We need to make the fabric go in such a way that every place will be neatly covered so there is a way for doing that we'll take measurements of the thickest part of murdanga as well so let's say it's here this part let me start doing that i'll take in centimeters so i'll be doing from here length is 56 centimeters bottom part bottom is 84.5 84.5 51.5 centimeters and the thickest part and that is 113 113 centimeters first i'll work on the lining first of all i'll take the length length of the murdanga height of the murdanga which is 6 uh, 56 and here one thing you have to know is we need this kind of uh, shapes of the fabric around four pieces so in order to get that i need to divide this this all the width into four so i'll take my phone and start dividing and go in this line to, to create a pattern so i need to bottom part 21 i'll take 21 i'll find 21 bend it this one you need to get the half of the size of that 21 21 and the upper part is 13 centimeters oh i forgot one thing in order to get the thickest part of murdanga you need to measure from this place into this place as well. Let me measure it. It's 21 centimeters. I'll note down so that if I do mistake, string that length, length, uh, you shouldn't be dividing into anything. 21. Now we will unite this dots. We will unite these dots here, here, and this one with this one. Our pattern is almost ready. While stitching, we need some space for the stitches. That's why because i'm putting a lining as well from here i'll give 
around one centimeter for lining and one centimeter for again stitching so two centimeters from the width and this part I will be giving for the lining but not for the stitches because this part won't be getting stitched only lining part like, I, like this will give space and then I'll cut out four pieces of this thing so the pattern is ready this one we have to cut four from the lining and with the fabric cut this some of these fabrics as well because each merdanga size is different i won't save this pattern some merdangas are small some merdangas are big here i cut all the four pieces from each fabric this is the light fabric for lining and because i had only one meter of this each fabric it was not enough that's why right. i will be stitching two different fabrics like one will be here one will be here like it will repeat it it'll look like this but first thing first what we need to do is find the right side of the fabric which is good side looks like this side is good and take the lining part And in the machine, now I'll go and stitch all the places like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Keep one side open and then turn it around and then again stitch nicely. So with all the pieces, to all the pieces I'll attach this lining and we'll come back. Here I've stitched all the sides and then turn it around to the right side. And I'll go and stitch this part as well to cover the unstitched part. Like this, like this. And stitch here like this. As I've done with this. Now I'll go and iron this to get a nice to make it very nicely straight. And then I'll take this piece, put it like this, and go and stitch here here so it will look like this and then I'll take this part put it on top and stitch again and it will look like this this also I'll put on top and stitch and it will look like this our medanga cover is almost ready I'll go and stitch in the sewing machine and here we go with the medanga cover now we need to put something to cover this place. I was thinking I can make a rope so that we can tie it. But it's a long process and it's very difficult to unrope it and tie it. So I will be using this kind of clamps. Clamps, something.